Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am truly excited today because we are going over the Dessert Lover's Ultimate Crowned Pie Recipe, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the start. Y'all about ready to get going? All right, y'all, we taking the standard box mix. No matter what brownie mix you use, just use the standard recipe, y'all. So we're going to get it in there, and we're going to go ahead and get to working with it. We're following, putting the water in. We're putting the oil in. We're putting two eggs in, y'all. Just follow the standard box recipe. Three tablespoons of water, two-thirds cup of oil, two eggs. And y'all, make sure you mix it well. You don't have to have a mixer to get your brownie mix going, y'all. Just take your time to make sure that that brownie batter doesn't just fly out your bowl and fly everywhere. So just go around the edges. Take your time. Go around those edges. Because when you go around the edges slowly, then you don't have to worry about the brownie batter shooting all across the kitchen floor, all across the countertops or whatever, y'all. So now we've gotten that to the phase to where it's more of the brownie mix that's liquefied than dry. We're going to go ahead and start beating this real good, getting it mixed up real good. Have you ever, ever made brownie mix from scratch, y'all? You can. It's a tedious, tedious process, though. So if you don't feel like going through that tedious process, of making the brownie mix from scratch. Just grab a box of brownie mix, and it's okay, because this is what makes it affordable. The only thing I did different, besides following the brownie mix, was adding in that butter right there, y'all. So I took some butter. I took about a little bit over a quarter stick of butter. Room temperature. That's how I keep my butter, y'all. I like to keep butter out at room temperature because it's much easier to work with it's much more efficient to work with and then y'all i grabbed some cookies toll house pecan delight cookies y'all and that is going to be the foundation of this crowny pie and now when you take these cookies y'all it's okay to spray your hands rub them together so that way the cookie dough does not stick to your hands and that way it stays to the pan and you might have to spray your hands multiple times i know i did y'all because it does have some caramel in it it does have chocolate chips in it and that cookie dough itself is sugary so it's going to want to stick to your fingers but if you spray some cooking spray or if all you have is oil then rub that oil on your hands and then get to pressing you want to make sure that you're pressing pretty firm all right, because if you press firm on this, you're going to make sure it's flat enough because the cookies, they do rise and we don't want the cookies to rise too much. We want the cookies to remain at a crust level, y'all. OK, so we're going to go ahead and get this mashed down all the way on the bottom, y'all, all the way across the bottom. And let me ask y'all, what is your favorite dessert? I really don't have one. I love sweets. I just know I don't like coconut, y'all. So I don't like no German chocolate cake. I hate it. I hate coconut cake. And that's okay. Because if you love German chocolate cake, like my family loves it, then I'm the one that's left out while everybody's eating it and, and enjoying it. And that's okay, y'all. That's okay. Because there's certain things I eat that they won't eat. And look at the foundation, y'all. Look at this crust right here. But we ain't done. We need edges, y'all. We need edges. We just don't want no bottom foundation crust. No, 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 y'all. We want the cookie all the way around, and that truly makes it a crowny. Because, yes, you can have a brookie. A brookie is a brownie and a cookie. Yes, you have that. Chocolate chip cookies and brownies. But if you notice how a brookie is layered, Versus how I'm doing this crowny pie. That is the difference, y'all. And that makes a tremendous difference whether you know it or not. Now, if you don't want the edges, if you don't want the crust, 
AKA edges. Then just lay the foundation, y'all, and then you still have you a nice crooky or a crowny or a brookie. But this right here is not a brookie, a crookie. It is the crowny pie, the ultimate crowny pie, y'all. Because look at what we doing with this, y'all. We having fun. We taking our time and we having fun. This can be a tedious process. It can take a little bit of time to get it right, but it's worth it. It took me about 30 minutes to prep this up the right way from the brownie mix and making sure I have the foundation of the pie, meaning I have all the cookies pressed down. Yeah, it took about 30 minutes and I had a, one cookie left over. So I just broke it apart and I put it inside of that brownie mix. And we just going to slide it to the left, slide it to the right. We're going to move it all around, y'all, and keep it all right. That's what we're going to do with this, y'all. We ain't going to play no games. We're going to take it serious because what is food, y'all? Food is entertainment. And on this channel, the food is always the star, y'all. That's why typically when I do my food videos, y'all don't see my face unless I'm doing a cooking demo or something like that, y'all. Because I'm not the star. It's the food. I want y'all to see what I'm doing. You don't have to see my face. Now, if you want to, I have other videos, but you don't have to see my face, y'all. I want y'all to see the food from the first person's perspective, and then I'll do a voiceover as I'm doing now, y'all, because it's all about the food, not about me. Y'all yeah, don't have to see all that. I know it, I know it, I know it, because that is the representation of me. What's in front of you right now, y'all, that's what it's all about. You are what you make. Yes, you are what you create. Yes, and I love to create delicious treats, y'all. Ooh-wee. Now, oh yeah, we're going to take some caramel bits, caramel, caramel, whatever you want to say, y'all. Don't make no difference to me. So we're going to take these caramel bits. We're going to take some pecans, 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 whatever you want to say. Well, we're going to take these pecans and this caramel, and we're going to Drop it on top, y'all. Now, I did let this crown it pie. Before I put these pecans and caramel on it, I threw it in the oven for four minutes. Before I put the caramel and the pecans on it, I made this crown it pie and I threw it in the oven for four minutes, y'all. I pulled it out the oven and then I put the caramel bits and the pecan bits on because I didn't want to put it in to where it got mixed in and you don't really see it. I want it to stand out. And this is what you get, y'all. Remember, this crowning pie was placed in the oven without the caramel bits and the pecans for four minutes, then pulled out. And then we put these caramel and pecan bits on it, y'all. Take a look at it there. Now we have the finished product, y'all. Take a look at this, y'all. Don't that look pretty tasty? Don't that look good, y'all? That is a crowny pie at its finest. That is something that is very unique, y'all. I have not seen one made like this before, y'all. Now, one thing I suggest is letting this cool for 30 minutes before you touch it. Yes, let it cool for 30 minutes. You could put it in the refrigerator if you want. You could let it sit on the counter if you want. But it needs to cool for 30 minutes easily. Because if you cool it for 30 minutes and this got cooled on the counter for about 30 minutes and that knife slices straight through, you don't see any of the crowning mix on there at all, y'all. The process of baking this took about an hour and five minutes, y'all. The total process with the 30 minutes of cooling, almost two hours, but it's well worth it. Take a look at that there, y'all. I'm saying, whoo that look good there. That is what I'm talking about. You can see the foundation crust. You can see them edges. Look at them edges, y'all. Yes, we got a real crowny pie, y'all. I want to say thank y'all. I was just at 10K. Now we are sitting at 12K family members, y'all. I really, really, really appreciate y'all. I really appreciate y'all. And if you feel like there's something that we miss, 
let us know so we can add it to the playlist, y'all. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next side.